So we're here on the University of Connecticut main campus and stores, and we have another example of an alternative to traditional pavement, like, like asphalt and concrete. So this is a pervious concrete application that was installed over a very pervious base. So here again the thinking is instead of having water that's going to fall in this parking lot and run off into the stormwater system and end up in the nearest brook, here this water is going to sink down into the ground immediately where it's generated. So this particular lot, there have been a few issues with, we've got some problems with the application and we'll show you some closer images of what's happening at this particular lot. So we can see here some of the problems that we've had with this particular lot. So you can see along this, there were seams here where the concrete was poured and the, uh, the aggregate is coming undone in every, pretty much every seam that we can see throughout this lot. So you here you can see the divots where it's uh, really gone down. And the main problem with this is once stuff starts to loosen up and we've lost some of the aggregate here, the cars rolling over it are grinding this into a fine powder here and what's happening is it's clogging up the pores in the surface. So the result of this fine powder clogging these pores is that the surface is no longer permeable to water. So during a large rainfall event, we're going to have water that will pool up on the surface and then run off pretty much like traditional concrete or asphalt. So if you compare this to a, a, a lot that's functioning properly, or like some of the other previous pavers on the campus that we've seen where the water goes down immediately, it's quite a difference. And as you can see, this water is still just standing here. This should have disappeared almost immediately. 